Dr. Miguel Beltran to the Public Services Conference. Also with his translator, Maja Mariana, who uh, I know very well. Um, Miguel is a Colombian academic and a former political prisoner. In 2009, he was falsely imprisoned on trumped up charges. He spent two years in jail. Sadly, Miguel is not the only victim. There are hundreds of political prisoners in Colombia's jails, including many trade unionists. The government in Colombia is trying to silence people by locking them up. GMB is proud to support the Justice for Colombia campaign group. Justice for Colombia has raised international pressure on behalf of prisoners like Miguel. In 2011, Miguel was spread with all charges dropped. It shows that international solidarity can work and it's very important. I, on behalf of GMB and this conference, would like to invite Miguel to address conference. Miguel. Ante todo, quiero hacer llegar un saludo a la compañera Mari, eh, presidenta del sindicato, y al compañero Ber y a todos los asistentes a este evento. So first of all, thank you and a warm greeting to, to Mary, um, Bert and everyone here at conference. Agradezco la oportunidad que me brindan de participar en este espacio y quiero aprovechar para agradecer toda la solidaridad que me brindaron desde el sindicato GMT, GMB, así como de Justicia por Colombia. Gracias a esa solidaridad es que puedo estar aquí nuevamente. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for giving me this space, to thank the GMB for all your solidarity with Colombian trade unionists and to Justice for Colombia. It's only with this solidarity that I'm able to be here today. Colombia is a país muy peligroso para desarrollar la actividad sindical. Colombia remains the most dangerous country in the world in which to be a trade unionist. Desde 1986, cuando se quedó la central unitaria de trabajadores, han sido asesinados más de 3.000 sindicalistas. Since 1986, when the Colombian TUC was founded, over 3,000 trade unionists have been assassinated. En el actual gobierno del presidente Juan Manuel Santos, que se posesionó el 7 de agosto de 2010, han sido asesinados 61 sindicalistas. The new president, Santos, um, who took power in 2010, the 7th of August 2010, since then 61 trade unionists have been murdered. Y en este año han sido asesinados 8 sindicalistas. Already this year we've had 8 colleagues killed. El propósito de este terror contra la actividad sindical como parte del terrorismo de Estado colombiano busca desarticular las organizaciones sindicales. The objective of this sort of terror imposed on us by, by the state is really to destroy the union movement. Impedir la movilización y también aplicar las medidas económicas neoliberales. To stop our mobilization, to stop, silence our protests, and to implement further neoliberal policies. Estas muertes han sido también para eh, aplicar una contrarreforma laboral y una flexibilización laboral. These deaths occur because we protest against the, the economic policies, the flexibilization of labor, and the anti-union uh, legislation. A la opinión internacional le dicen que estos asesinatos son productos de hechos por fuera del conflicto, que son producto de atracos o de pasiones eh, personales, pero nunca dicen la verdad que tiene que ver con la forma de acallar la oposición social. To the international community, the Colombian government says that these murders have nothing to do with um, their union activity, that 
people are killed because, during uh, robberies or because of crimes of passion. En mi caso personal, ilustra lo que sucede en Colombia con la actividad sindical. My personal case is an example of what happens to you as a trade unionist in Colombia. Yo soy profesor eh, universitario y miembro del sindicato ASPU, de la Asociación Sindical de Profesores Universitarios. I'm a university teacher and a member of the University Teachers Trade Union, ASPU. Me encontraba en la Ciudad de México desarrollando una estancia postdoctoral cuando fui secuestrado por autoridades mexicanas y colombianas. In 2009, I was in Mexico City carrying out a piece of research for my work, um, and I was kidnapped by the Mexican authorities working with the Colombian authorities. In Colombia, fui judicializado por el delito de terrorismo y rebelión eh, basado en pruebas falsas. I was taken illegally back to Colombia, and I was imprisoned and charged with the charges of re rebellion and terrorism. Um, and the whole case was based on false evidence. Todos mis escritos críticos del Estado, así como mis actividades académicas, fueron criminalizadas y presentadas como simpatizante de la guerrilla. So articles that I had written um, and some of my academic work was used by the prosecution. Um, the work that I, in which I'd criticized the Colombian government was used saying that I was a terrorist and that I was working with the guerrillas. Durante dos años estuve en un pabellón de alta seguridad eh, reunido con paramilitares, con criminales y con narcotraficantes. I was then kept imprisoned for over two years in a maximum security wing held alongside drug traffickers and paramilitaries and other dangerous criminals. Gracias a la presión internacional, eh, gracias especialmente al trabajo que desarrolló Justicia por Colombia, logré nuevamente mi libertad. It's thanks to international pressure and specifically the work done by Justice for Colombia that I was able to be freed. Y quedó claro que todo se trataba de un montaje judicial. And we were able to demonstrate that this was all a false case against me. Es por eso que quiero aprovechar esta oportunidad So I'd like to take this opportunity para hacer un llamado a la solidaridad internacional y a la solidaridad de todos ustedes. To ask for more international solidarity, to ask you for your support and your solidarity. Como decía alguien, la solidaridad es la ternura de los pueblos. So as, um, as someone well known said, solidarity is the tenderness of the people. Esa ternura la sentí en mis días de prisión y en los tiempos que estuve aislado en este pabellón de alta seguridad. And I felt that support and that kindness, that solidarity, whilst I spent all those days behind bars in Colombian prison. Como yo, son más de 10.000 presos políticos que actualmente se encuentran en las cárceles del país. It's not just me, but around 10,000 political prisoners in Colombian prisons today. En condiciones denigrantes y violatoras de los derechos humanos in degrading and, and terrible conditions where your human rights are, are violated every day. Es mucho lo que ustedes han hecho, pero también es mucho lo que se puede seguir haciendo si nos comprometemos con una campaña de apoyo a todas estas personas que son perseguidas por el Estado colombiano. So your solidarity has already achieved so much. We know we've had your support, but there's still so much to do and so, so many people that need your support in Colombia. Los invito entonces a que fortalezcamos estas campañas, este trabajo que viene desarrollando Justicia por Colombia. So please um, strengthen your support, keep supporting Justice for Colombia's campaigns. Y en particular la campaña por la búsqueda de una solución al conflicto colombiano por las vías legales y políticas. Their, their political prisoner campaign and their campaign to achieve a peace process in Colombia. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Conference. Conference. Uh, can I thank uh, Dr. Miguel for coming and Mariella. And Mariella is not. I better speak slow because I'm your translator. She's not just the translator. Believe you me, the work.
that this young activist does is actually so important. And uh, we look to her with great pride. I myself have visited with the TUC, the Colombian Embassy, to put pressure so that we could get political prisoners and trade unionists released and stop the killing. I asked why certain people were in prison. I was told that they were disobedient to the government. I thought, bleeding hell, I'd be there for life.